Hi there, I'm Lee and welcome to iMine Blocks. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how to mine Uplexa on Ubuntu, Linux, or a VPS. So I'm gonna be going quite quickly through this today. I've only got a very short period of time, so we're gonna jump right into it. Um, so I'm gonna be starting off at DigitalOcean. So DigitalOcean uh, provide VPS um, products. So we're gonna start by creating a new droplet. So effectively, uh, we're gonna create a new server. And I'm going to create it with Ubuntu, and it's 16.4.5. Um, uh, so I'm going to select the cheapest option, so this is this uh, $5 uh, per month option. Uh, we don't need any backups, and I'm going to select the region which is closest to me, which is London. I uh, don't need any other options. It's one droplet, I'm just going to give it a name. So we'll call this... Um, CPU. So we'll give it a unique name, and then we're going to click on Create. So it's going to take about 30 seconds to get it set up. Just whilst it's going, I just need to grab the IP address for it. We've already got a notepad open over here. So these are going to be the details for our VPS. So we can actually copy those across. I close that down, and now if we open up um, Putty, so this allows us basically to create a connection to the remote terminal. So in this host name, I'm just going to paste that whole lot, so it's root at, and then the IP address, leave the port as it is. If we select open, confirm yes. So now we just need the password, so I'm just going to grab that, it will be emailed to you. So I've just grabbed that password from our emails. We need to change it as well once we first log in. So we just left click and then right click to paste it and enter. And then right click again um, to just confirm that the password. And then we enter a new. Screwed up. And then we've entered a new password. So from here we are ready to install um, the mining software and uh, get up mining. So pretty much most of it you can, I've done it so it should all be on this one uh, kind of single line of code, so I'll put it in the uh, video description. Um, I did make a couple of changes to it so hopefully it all works as intended. So we copy and paste that onto the command line and then um, hit enter. And it should start running through everything that we need to do, so it's going to um, update Upgrade is going to install um, all the um, the software and utilities that we need, and that as well as the, uh, building the miner itself. So you can do it all individually, but this is kind of like a one line uh, version, so it should run through everything and hopefully not get any errors. Okay, so our build process has uh, completed, so that all looks good. So we're already in the UPEX folder, so just uh, confirm what's inside there. Um, sorry, just going to kind of back a step because I wasn't familiar with the um, directory um, configuration. So I just changed it to cd reg-upx um, because we just need to change the config file. So in here there should be a config file which is called this um, config example.json. So if we use um, Nano config dot example dot json and that will open that up. So this is um, a sample um, configuration file. So we just need to make um, some changes to it. So the changes that we need to make are most of it's already done. Um, this you want to make sure that this um, huge pages is set to true. That's pretty important, you'll get the best uh, performance. Your max CPU settings, if you are using a VPS, you probably don't want to use quite 100% um, because sometimes the um, providers will not be happy with you. Um, then we've got this pools option. So here you want it to enter your pools details. Um, I'm using hashing.center. Uh, 
and the port is uh, free, 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 free. So then we want to enter our wallet address. So if you've not already got a wallet address, um, see my other video and you can create one. So I'm just going to copy that from the notepad and we're going to paste that into there between the quotation marks. So it might uh, from it might like click in the terminal, but just make sure like the four line is there. So that's fine. Now in the password box, you don't actually use password. You can it's actually used for a worker nickname. So we'll call this my I mean, box for example. Or you can call it you know server one server two. You can call it whatever you like. And further down is where you set your CPU threads. So there's a couple of different ways to do it. So in this instance, you'll see this kind of like, this is ideal for like a four core um, system. So you've kind of got one core here with two threads, second core here with two threads and the third core with two threads. So on this particular machine, um, I've only got one CPU. So I'm gonna just run it with one core and two threads. So I'm just gonna remove these other lines. And you just want to go and go all the way to the bracket. So on this last line, you want to make sure that you remove that comma because otherwise it expects um, a core to be underneath it. And that's pretty much um, it. So um, I think that's everything. Just to double check. Yep, that looks good. So now we want to save it. So you press Control and O. But we want to give it a different name, so we'll call it config.json and press enter. So just confirm, yes, we want to save it under a different name. So now we can control and X. So that's saved it. So now our configuration is set up as well. So to start the miner, it's dot slash um, rig and press enter. So then the miner will start. Um, the one thing I can see here is that huge pages is not currently um, enabled. So uh, let's just get the command we shall um, enable that. So just going to break out of that. So this should enable or help us enable our huge pages. So let's just try that again. So if we start the miner again. Uh -huh. So yeah, huge pages are now enabled. If you if you don't have it enabled, the miner will still run, but you'll get um, slightly less performance. So you want to run it like this. So here I'll just leave it running um, with the previous machines. I think with just with a single core and two threads, um, I think it's roughly around about 250 um, hashes per second, something like that. So just while that's picking up, a few of you guys are probably going to ask about um, mining stats and the pull payouts and stuff. The pull payouts um, are done automatically. If you visit the um, the website, which is hashing.center, and then if you go to worker stats and enter your mining address, you'll see all your worker stats. Also, you know the amount that you've earned over time, um, when the payouts have been made, and you know when you can expect more payouts from there as well. Okay, so getting our first sort of reported hashes in there, so it's around 290. So I think that was probably lower down a little bit, maybe about. Between 250 and 270, it varies depending on exactly what settings you use on the uh, machine in terms of uh, the CPU um, power usage. And I think I set this one to 90, so that's why it's a little higher than um, I expected. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Um, hopefully, you've enjoyed watching. Any questions or comments, post those in the comments area below. I'll be uh, happy to help you out. I'll put the links and everything that you need um, in the video description. And um, hopefully you get up and running uh, mining your Plexa on um, Linux or your VPS. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.